so which seats are available for you know second round so there are four to five type of seats which are available first is the unallotted seat in the first round so this type of seat will be very low unallotted and this will be mostly in the colleges which are at the lower rank all good colleges seats will be allotted already to somebody so this will be only the not so good college seats newly added seats hardly any will any any one of them will be there and even if it's a newly added seat it will be mostly in the not so good college right so these are the seats cancelled or the surrender seats right something which is cancelled earlier and the fourth is the choice three and choice four seats so students who are going to do choice three now those seat will be available for second round and the who are doing choice four that means they are going to withdraw from the counseling and then somebody who is doing choice one and choice two but he is not paying the fees so if you are doing choice one and choice two now but you are not paying the fees then also that seat is gone so that will be available in the second round and consequential vacancies not much to be considered so these are the only five type of seats which will be available now the type of candidates who can apply for the second round will be who do choice two choice two means you are holding the seat right but choice two you have to select and then you have to pay don't think that i don't have to pay since i am not going to report to college you have to pay choice two and pay choice three that means you don't need to pay but you will be participating in the second round and somebody who is not yet allotted any seat so somebody with few people students were saying i am not allotted any seat so if you are not allotted any seat you will automatically go into the second round of counseling and you will be considered based on your options so hope it is very clear who can participate and what type of seats are available in the second round of counseling right and the following type of students are not eligible kon eligible nahi hai the candidates who have failed to exercise any choice so agar aapne first round mein koi bhi choice nahi enter kiya tha to then automatically you cannot go to second round only students who have exercised some choices will go into second round candidates who have exercised choice 2 uh, in in a first round but failed to make payment of the seat so agar if you have, if you have failed to make payment of you know fees by you know, doing choice 2 then you will not be able to participate in round 2 right now complete it's very important to understand what is the guideline right for this so it's you know in this round you know whatever option entry you have done in the previous round right first round same options will be available now that means whatever options you have done in the first round same set of options will be available in the second round what you can do extra is that you can change the priority of the orders right so when you say you can change the priority of the orders that means you can delete or alter the higher order options that means whatever options you have got today right any option which is above that option you can delete or alter or reorder but you are not allowed to add any new college right you will not be allowed to add new college right if it is the same college which was there in the earlier list right so if you are thinking that you want to participate in this this round by adding a new college which you which you did not get then it is not the right thing you will not be able to add a new college only what you will be able to do is whatever existing choices you had right any choice or so, sorry whatever allotment you have anything above that than that you will get it let me give an example right for example in the first round you have made 120 choices right and you were you you got the seat number 115th right that means option number 115th was is what you been allotted that means you did not get option from 1 option 1 option 2 option 3 up to 114 you did not get anything what you got is 115th so in this case from 1 to 114 you are allowed to change that is modify edit delete reorder again i am saying from 1 to 114 option what you entered there you will be allowed to add modify delete uh, sorry modify delete and reorder you will not be allowed to add anything in this order you will be only modify delete reorder 
hundred and fifteenth number option that is what you have already got so you cannot do anything and it will not be considered because you have already got it from hundred and sixteenth to bottom of say we have two hundred and twenty those options will not be considered now those will be automatically deleted so please understand whatever um, whatever options you have done from uh, your current allotment anything above that will be considered for the next round now the very important note for the if you do choice 2 so remember please understand this if you are doing choice 2 choice 1 is very clear and you are not participating if you are doing choice 2 that means you are holding a seat in the first round right now now when the round 2 whatever seat is you get allotted right that will become your final seat in the second round whatever seat you are allotted that will become your final seat then you cannot say that no 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 i will give me the seat which is in hold whatever seat you will get allotted in the second round will become your final seat and your seat that you got in the first round will be taken back and that will be added to the available seat for the next candidate so that He, that is available as a seat to next candidate and the next series of candidates so remember this thing what if you participate in round 2 by holding the seat that means whatever new seat you get that becomes your final seat you cannot go back to the first seat but if you don't get any seat for example in the second round round you don't get any seat which is better if you don't get any seat which is better then your first round seat will be valid right now the choice for the third choice so if you do choice 3 then the choice 3 candidates were anyway rejected the first seat right so they don't have any seat today and if they get any seat allotted they have to take that seat if they have to take that seat and if they don't get any seat allotted that is what they will they will finally have no seat in their hand and they are out of the they will not be able to join any call so if you are doing choice 3 be very cautious if you are rejecting the seat by doing choice 3 whatever you get next is what you have to accept and secondly otherwise you are you know you will not get any seat in the next round and then you are completely out you cannot join any college course through pgcet right so it is very important that you modify order delete options based on that so that you get some seat in this round you cannot add any seat right so in both the cases please remember you cannot add any new option only you can modify order uh, modify delete reorder the seats which are also options which are above your seats allotted so whatever you have got now the instruction if after choice one right you decide to cancel or to surrender the seat so what is the time so you can surrender the seat only before the entry of entry of options for second round is completed so for example that the the, the second round you know editing options starts from say 27th of january to 29th of january right so in between these two dates you can modify your option entry then so between 27th and 29th you have to cancel or surrender your seat somebody who wants to cancel or surrender seat after 29th january for example if your option entry date is over right that is the last date for option modification for round 2 then after 29th if you surrender you will not get any money before 29th of january for example is a date for option entry editing before that if you surrender you will only lose 5000 rupees and the rest of the things you will get it so hopefully you have now understood the complete process and the implications of each stage right and um, and you apply only if you are very comfortable with doing that right so so please consider many of the seats which you have got is good and not every if you are completely dissatisfied then only you participate in the second round and the seats in the second round will be much lower than what was there in the first round maybe only 5% or 2% of that so please thank you for watching this and 
and hopefully it would have cleared most of your doubts and uh, in case you still have a doubt you can ask me but most of the things are very clear if you see the video again you will be able to correlate thanks for watching and please keep subscribe to my channel and thank have a great day